Hey, how's your day? If you ever taken a selfie and you like the picture but you don't like what's going on with your skin, well, I did exactly that yesterday. And I'm going to show you how to get great skin and remove a double chin with Photoshop's generative AI. I'd like to give a shout out to my new friend, Polly Driver Smith, for giving me the inspiration to do skin things with generative AI. All right, let's go. I took this selfie of myself yesterday and I like the picture, but you know what happens sometimes? You don't like your skin and what it's doing. Plus I got a little double shin going here. And that's a common thing that people always ask me to remove, give me better skin and remove my double chin. <laughs> that rhymes. So what I'll do is we'll use generative fill to do that. So the first thing we're gonna do is hit Q for the quick mask. Then we'll hit Shift and Backspace together. Now, make sure you choose color and you make it 30%. So it'll be 30% gray and hit OK. Now, hit Q again. Now, at this point, normally you would see the marching ants. You can't because there's less than 50% of the pixels being chosen. So go up to Generative Fill. Through trials and tribulations, I've found a couple of phrases that help in this. Or type in skin smoothing, comma space, skin toning, and hit generate. Now, obviously, the picture is not going to look like you, but that's okay. We're looking for a picture that's got better skin than what you've got going on. What the, what the person actually looks like is irrelevant. Let's hit generate again. One, two, three. No, that's not good. Now we're going to use the baseball rule here. Three strikes and you're out. So let's hit generate again. Well, if we go back and look at them all, I like the skin in this one. Now, here's the trick. Choose your layer mask on the generative layer. Go to Image and Apply Image. They have all the settings where they are. Hit OK. Now it'll bring you back. Now the cool thing we can do here is you paint, bring up your brush, paint with black, flow about 20% if you wish, and you have to bring back the things that were you. So let's zoom in here. And... Painting with black will bring back my original mouth. Goatee, chin, that sort of thing. Bring all this back. That was me. Let's bring back my eyes and the sclera and everything. Reduce my brush a bit and bring back my eyebrows. That's obviously not my eyebrows. Now, important to bring back your original nostrils and tip of your nose. That's all part of your personality. So now, let's zoom out. Obviously, I don't like the hair and what's going on here. So, I'll make my brush a little bit la larger. And I'll go over the hair. There we go. That's obviously my hair. Anything that you want to bring back that has the original personality is fine. The idea is to get better skin. Let's do that right there. Now... You change your brush to white. Let's zoom in here. And I'm already seeing that the skin that was created was a lot smoother than mine. But we paint white and it'll accentuate what was in the generative fill. Now, you can do whatever you wish with this part here. Let's remove this. 
little imperfections here. Now, the thing is, you might say to yourself, well, that looks good, but it looks too phony. Well, this is the best part. Let's leave it at such. Before, after. Great skin, but it doesn't look realistic. So let's bring back the opacity to about 50%. And that'll bring back 50% of the original picture and what's going on in generative fill. I like it about 65% before, after. And anything that was changed, let's zoom out, because you can see anything that moves when you do before, after in the background can be brought back if you wish. Sometimes it creates a nice uh, blurred background for you. Again, before, after. I've got much better skin. Now, L for the lasso tool. Just go along the jawline. And around the outside of the double chin. Hold your shift down to fix it up a bit. Anything you want to fix. Now we'll go up to generative fill. And we'll simply type remove. Generate. Again, it'll give you three options. I like this one here. So now, again, what you can do, because the goatee is kind of silly down here, choose your layer mask, get your brush, make sure you're painting black, and just bring it back so it looks natural. There we go. Now let's put both of these generative layers into a group. We'll call it repairs or whatever you want to call it. Now let's look what we got. Before, after. Nice smooth skin, double chin removed. Now remember, if you don't like how it looks, go to either layer and name them. Call one skin. Call the other one chin. And if you think something looks unnatural, just back off the opacity a bit. You got to bring it down to about 60 for the skin. Before, after. How you doing? Well, there you have it. We can get great skin and remove a little bit of a double chin there, all by using generative fill. Now, remember, it doesn't matter what the face looks like. It's all about the skin, because you can always bring back the facial features. I'm done from Photo 911. See you soon.